Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Wilson, fashionable writer for time. Queer videos all about vintage fashion and cinema culture. I hope you're doing great, because this video is going to be great too. Today I'm going to focus on the colour red. It's one of the most powerful colours of all the colour scheme, because it grabs our attention the most. Not only does it express love and power, used mostly in cinema and fashion for that purpose, but also danger, which is why it's used in traffic lights and traffic signs. Red in pop culture has been huge from the antique times to now. It had a really important impact in 1950s Western capitalist popular culture because it just symbolized this color of power after the 1940s when people had to stop using color for their clothes because of uh, manufacturer needs go only in the war. After that, People really wanted to wear vibrant colours, colours that made them feel alive, made them feel cool, made them feel, you know, pretty. And red was also the colour that all the women used to wear on their lips, simply because it grabbed the attention the most. In that turn of the 1950s, you started seeing all these brands, Coca-Cola, Virgin Radio, Marlboro, Heinz, Marvel, all these brands started using them for their logos, their publicities, everything. So if you can imagine a typical scenario of the time, people would have a Coca-Cola with the red logo, then they'd smoke a cigarette from their Marlboro packet. Why don't you settle back, settle back. and have a full flavored smoke? Settle back, settle back. with a Marlboro. Make yourself comfortable whenever you smoke. Have a Marlboro cigarette. They'd maybe, if they were, let's say, in London, hop on a double decker red bus, then go to the cinema on the weekend or something in the beautiful red velvet seats. Let's say they were upper class, they might take their red Ferrari. A woman might even, you know, leave a mark of red lipstick on her glass or. Or on her boyfriend's cheek. <laughs> and so this really, really impacted the whole 1950s pop culture. One of the main examples I can think of would be from the 1976 series Charlie's Angel, a really iconic scene from the first season. Iconic actress Fair Fawcett with her big blonde hair, she's got a red sporty windbreaker, a pair of jeans, some Nikes, and so it's basically this kind of thing where she does a deal with this baddie and and she's got a skateboard hidden in her bag and then she runs off and the she's on her skateboard and he takes a van and then they go through the park and she's like going like the clappers on her skateboard but this is such an iconic scene because she's got this blonde hair and the red really creates an iconic placement in the movie so very sporty color not only because a lot of countries like USA, England, France, just for example. All of those Western countries had the color red in their flag. So obviously then people started wearing it for their sports clothes. You know, you had all these red sports clothes. Then you started seeing all these publicities in the, especially kind of in the 80s, 90s, with these red leotards, red jackets, red shorts, amongst other colors. A great example of that would be, for example, the movie Baywatch, going on from 1989 to 2001, the series, with Pamela Anderson and the other stars. Red makes it so iconic because you have all of these really good-looking, tanned, blonde people running on the beach as lifeguards in slow-mo, like, <laughs> in this red swimsuit, high cut, you know, really showing off their beautiful figure. And it's such an iconic film. And that really also influenced the whole society of the time. And even now, like when people wear red swimsuits, it really has that kind of iconic impact. Another really iconic woman of the time, still in the 90s, is Julie Roberts in Pretty Woman. What an iconic movie. And there's a particular scene where Richard Gere is gonna basically take her out for a surprise. She puts on this beautiful long red gown, strapless. And there's this really beautiful scene where he, Richard Gere comes behind her. And you see the scene in the mirror. 
and he applies this beautiful diamond and red ruby necklace and she's like she's kind of feeling all gawky and unsettled because before that if you've seen the movie she was a prostitute in the movie and he takes her basically and brings her into high society and that particular scene really shows her transition from rags to riches you know to a woman a glamorous woman of society and you see everyone's hair turning to her like oh my god look at her look at her and um and then at the end he makes her kind of she strides off quite confidently and they go to the private jet and then they want to go to a gala it's a really powerful choice of color for that scene because it's a colour that brings confidence and power. And so the choice of red really brought that to her when she most needed it. And it's also a very feminine colour. A colour of a femme fatale. Why is it a colour of a femme fatale? It's the colour of predilection of a femme fatale. Because it expresses the strongest emotion. And of course it expresses the colour of love. A femme fatale is this beautiful woman who is very powerful, very confident herself, she can manipulate men as she needs, if she wants to, to get what she wants. She always carries her head very high, she has a beautiful figure and knows how to enhance every one of her features. This is why red is the ultimate colour for femme fatale. She will put it on her lips, put red on her nails, wear a red gown, all this to attract you to her lips and her nails, and maybe to kiss her and yet she might not even give you the privilege to kiss her or take her hands because she's very independent and knows how to use and make people desire her a great example of the je t'aime moi non plus i love you i love you not kind of manner of acting of a femme fatale would be from the movie frantic made in 1988 particularly the nightclub scene with Harrison Ford and Emmanuel Signe. So basically in the movie, he's looking for his wife, but then this Emmanuel Signe, a young, beautiful woman, kind of from the underworld, is gonna help him out. And so in this scene, they're in a nightclub in America, and he's feeling really kind of like, really awkward, really like jittery. You see like, he's like sweating. He's kind of like blabbering on, not making sense. He's asking the waiter thing, which don't really make sense. Then someone meets him. He likes, feels the eyes back here under other people. And so she's really playing the femme fatale because she looks at him, attracts him to come next to her. But when he comes next to her and puts her arm around her, she says, I can't stand this music. And just strides off, leaving him completely low. <laughs> <laughs> and then she comes back, asks him for a dance. Dance? Yes. And there, the music Strange by Grace Jones plays. And she takes him, and you can see she's clearly leading the role, leading the dance. It's very languorous, snake like dance. And she kind of hypnotizes him, like the rhythm of the music. Red dress with its length and its color not only really makes her stand out in the crowd really emanates this heat and this warmth that they want to translate in the movie for her role kind of seduce him but it also gives her a very mysterious air especially with the crisscross in the back and her snake dance you can see it's really kind of like a dream that's a beautiful example of a film pattern they also have other color codes actually in that movie with the color red like in one scene you see her and his wife passing each other she's got that same red dress with a leather jacket and the wife's got a red jacket and it's kind of from his experiences from the moment to his old self with his wife crossing each other so it has a very symbolic uh, thing in that movie red is actually used in many cinematic movies to express different things such as power or love or danger uh, as a color code you can see in many movies it's really got like a common thread and actually even there's a french expression called uh, suivre un fil rouge which means you're following the red thread i think actually it's also an english expression and so even that like it's another even in our um, in the words we use in the expressions we use there's the color red 
because it's so impactful. Another example would be like in Le Ballon Rouge, a French movie. Main character of the movie is this red balloon, which kind of has takes on a life of its own and is very free. And in the whole movie, basically, this young child is uh, following the balloon and it's really kind of fun and cute. And it's kind of inspired by Nouvelle Vague, French cinema movement. And red is such statement color that I mean I could literally like write a book but if you'd like me to do a second video about how to wear red that would be a pleasure because I love the way a red can really change a whole outfit like sometimes for example I'll wear just an outfit that's black and white very simple very minimalistic but I'll add a little red headband that's one of my favorite additions or red lipstick or even just like a red jacket a red belt sometimes I love how even in touches of red, it can make such a statement. Actually, also, if you're looking for beautiful red items, feel free to check the link below. You can find all kinds of beautiful red items going from cool jackets to wear in town, to a spring dress, to feel very colourful and vibrant in spring summer. If you want me to do a styling video, feel free to tell me. And also, I created a whole newsletter about the colour reds. I went more in depth and I added extra movie references. And I also talk about red and black combo in 80s, 90s fashion, colour of glamour in cinema and more. So feel free to check it out at the link below. Subscribe if you want more vintage fashion and cinema culture. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day.